Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sophia and I'm a second year medical student at Deakin University and in this video I'm going to be talking to you about the living arrangements um, at Geelong when you're coming down here to live and study. Uh, what is there to do and some of the tips for me because I've been here for already one and a half years. So without further ado, let's roll into the video. So the first and foremost is where are the main students reside. So the main students reside uh, in four areas that I have figured out throughout my years. The first one is Warren Ponds. This is actually where the Deakin student campus is located. So it's a quick four minute drive. Um, some people reside on uh, rats. So at Deakin you have their own student accommodation which is provided by university uh, but there are some negatives to it which I will talk about later. Uh, so the Warren Ponds it has a shopping center in like five minutes. Um, it has Woolworths, Coles, Conon, um, Kmart, Big W, Target, everything that you need from your big shopping mall. Uh, and it's a good quiet area, there are not many cafes or bars around. So this is just a very like um, quiet suburb. Um, five minutes from there or ten minutes from university you have uh, the second popular um, student residing location which is called Belmont. Belmont is more lively because it has a main street with shopping um, like different shopping mall or shopping um, sorry with different uh, shop stalls, I don't know how to say, cafes, uh, some restaurants um, and it has a lot of GP clinics and stuff so I usually go there if I want to see the doctor so that's how I know this area but a lot of students live there as well mm, but just keep in mind it's a 10 minute drive to uni there's not usually many traffic and it's also 5 minutes to Warren Pond shopping center so I think mostly everyone shops there but they also have their own Woolworths and Coles so it's a good area, also very quiet. And the third um, area in which I also live, um, because I have lived in two locations, right now I'm in one point, but I used to live in um, Geelong West or Geelong CBD. This is very, very popular location for students as well. Um, it is 20 minute drive from uni to Geelong CBD. So from Warren Ponds to Geelong CBD but it's the most lively area as you can imagine it's a CBD so it's a central district um, it has clubs, bars, restaurants, cafes, market, um, shopping mall Westfield um, it has a ferris wheel so it's if you like to be in the city then I'd suggest you live there I have lived there but during the pandemic so it wasn't actually um, very lively there I guess but for a month that I was living there I quite enjoyed it and it has uh, also a gym that you can drive to but the parking is bad at that gym because you either have to uh, park at the shopping mall which is not free unfortunately and the street parking is not available for free as well there's only like 25 or 15 minutes of parking which is not enough for your training session so uh, that was one huge disadvantage for me is that when you live um, in the Geelong CBD then uh, it's very inconvenient, inconvenient to go to the gym because of the parking otherwise you, you can walk but not many people prefer walking to the gym they prefer driving especially if you're female and you are scared and it's getting uh, pretty dark pretty quickly um, due to winter and autumn like right now it gets dark at like 6 p.m. but it will get dark at 5 p.m. so yeah there are certain disadvantages in the city and also a lot of like creepy people and like homeless and yeah like drug dealers on the streets whereas in one point you don't see that it's very quiet it's very nice no people on the street like so that's the major major advantage of those quiet suburbs and the fourth and the best probably in terms of its landscapes and nature is Torquay. So Torquay is basically the beginning of Great Ocean Road 
and it's 20 minute drive from one point and a lot of a lot of students love to live in Turkey because it's close to the ocean and they can go to the beach um, that's where I go to my surfing classes I didn't prefer to live there although I could have but it depends on the living situation which I'm gonna talk next so a lot of uh, students like to share houses in Turkey and drive to uni and right now we don't have many on campuses uh, days so I think that works out well for them but when we are gonna have four days a week of classes it's gonna be tiring I think because 20 minutes drive one way and 20 minutes drive um, the other way can be quite difficult but again the nature of Turkey and it has a lot of um, pretty cafes and bars as well because it's a very tourist um, attraction place um, I guess it's very very uh, lovely there and when I've been there I just didn't want to leave and yeah it just seems like also very quiet nature close area on which I would definitely recommend to you if you don't mind trying all about locations and that's all I know about the where most of the students live in terms of the student um, arrangement the students usually share houses so that it is cheaper by rent and usually to rent a whole house can be um, 600 a week um, so when they split between each other it will be like 145 to 200 dollars um, so that is um, what most students do they just find a group of friends of three to four people where they can find a good accommodation arrangement if you don't know each other yet or you're going to be a first year there is a facebook group page housemate search deacon medicine i'll link it below um, and also the general Geelong housemate search um, also there are good websites such as flatmate australia and yeah this is what i used when i was searching for my house i'll drop the link in the comment so go there and put a like if you like this video because i think it's super useful if someone told me that before i chose my arrangement i'd be just so happy but anyways uh so if you like this video thumbs up and um however there are other living arrangements as well obviously if you have extra money you can just uh, rent a whole house and live there with your partner or family if you want but as i said most students they prefer to live with other students to make a rent cheaper um i live also in a shared house it's not a student accommodation but um instead of sharing like a bathroom we don't do that so each room has the own suit and the private uh, bathroom so we have our own wardrobe and our own bathroom so we don't have to share the bathroom uh, what we do have to share is the kitchen and there are nine people of us so eight people but one in one room there lives a couple so um, that makes it nine and we have two stove tops um, everyone has got their own shelf and there are two of these houses down the street where I live uh, so it was very good to find because I didn't personally want to you know share the bathroom with anyone um, I wasn't ready for that in terms of kitchen i don't mind sharing kitchen because you can use your own cutlery you can store in your pantry your own sort of dishes you don't have to you know share everything you can just cook there and then take everything your own um and but obviously when you live in sort of the student accommodation kind of thing um you're not specifically living with friends which makes it harder um i mean you can you can become friends but you're not choosing people to live there with you which is sort of a drawback because you have to tolerate other people uh, which I'm currently doing right now which is not bad, I'm not complaining but it can be a bit hard when you're not living with your family or friends and the other student arrangement that's available is dick and dress I'll also drip the... not drip I'll also drop the link in the comments um, not in the comments, in the description but you write a comment to my video because if you find it useful, why not? Um, so I'll uh, yeah the du Deakin residence is right at the one point so you don't have to travel it's walking distance to the campus um, one of the drawbacks that students talk about is the lack of sort of privacy um, I mean it can be a bit of party house down there because they're all young students living there not only medical students but 
other students which you know moved out of home so it can be less chill i guess and many students can complain about also it's quite a bit more expensive uh, than my place obviously my place is more expensive than the place where you just share a house with shared bathroom and stuff uh, my place is a bit more than that but dick and rest can be even more than mine up to 350 a week uh, which is yeah wow a lot but some of the available options on dick and rest can be something like a studio apartment where you have your own kitchen, your own bathroom, you have your own ensuite, so you don't share anything at all, you just come and hang out, which can be good, or, or it can be something like my, but what I heard from students can be quite small, but you can uh, go a tour and inspect all the places that you like, um, and see for yourself, because I don't want you guys to give you wrong advice, but that's what I heard, and based from my experience, um, so if I were the first year student, you ask me, what would I do? Well, I'd probably go to Turkey because um, being next to the beach is a big advantage and also I'd probably find a group of friends to move into with. This is based from experience. So I hope you found this video helpful and please subscribe and like this video for more of those videos to come. I hope this was helpful for you and useful and all the best moving into Geelong and enjoy!